today and this is my yard yeah well some of it was already messed up from the other one um yeah so you know we had this burn pile here we need to burn it um yeah we'll probably do it this weekend i'm probably gonna let things dry a little bit today not do a whole lot today but um yeah so the roof is covered with pine needles as usual that's not too bad it did pretty good i'm pleased you know um this thing up here has been dangling right above his little mic <laughs> yeah and then we had some trees come down nothing really really tragic or anything so uh, you know i mean this is to be expected this is not my property over here um this is the neighbors but we kind of help each other out here and they're older so um yeah so the boat the other boat that I want to sell, that Shea Bear wants to hang on to, for what? I don't know. He has sentimental things with this boat, I think. Um, yeah, a couple branches in here. Not real bad. Not horrible. This is probably, you know, some of the noise that I, I heard last night, you know. Um, oh, his birdhouse has got a hole in it. He made me this. When we first, he kind of first year, he made me that. Now it's got a hole in its roof. <coughs> the other one did fall down. It rotted. It was in the front yard that he made me. So, yeah, there's a lot of crap. Um, but I just burn it. I'm going to start this up and, and just burn it. And we'll gather this up and put it in the burn pile. And uh, do it that way. Um, probably another thing that I heard last night that we couldn't find was this tree over here. Their tree um, fell. So that's probably what it is. Yeah. Wow. So that's a pretty big tree here. Yeah. So it fell. But it didn't damage anything, you know, it's not on somebody's roof or anything like that. So this is kind of wooded here. They used to keep this really nice, but they're getting older and, um, you know, it's harder for them. So he mostly cuts over on the other side now and keeps this kind of wooded a little bit. We might cut it, cut it. Um, but my thing is, my problem is, our lawnmower, the belt broke. So, we don't have another belt. So, we might have to um, maybe get a friend to help us. After we clean this up, I'm just going to throw it all in a burn pile. And, uh, yeah, do that. The sun is out. Thank you, sun, for coming out. The storm is all over. So, there's the Bruna man. He's sniffing and hanging out. And, uh, yeah, I think... I think we're okay I, I i'm you know feel guilty for all the other people that have to suffer and all the stuff they have to go through um i count my blessings i really do and uh because it could have been so much worse so much worse than this so um yeah i'll take you out front and show you the front too um i was letting him out uh, so I thought I filmed this part, <clears throat> but yeah, backyard's a mess. <coughs> Excuse me on my cough. And uh, yeah, and see that guy that was that's behind us that died. Um, his debris. I was worried that some of his debris would come running over this way, but it didn't, because there's stuff all over that place over there. Let's see what's back here. Yeah, a lot of palm tree, palm palm leaves, you know, and that that's usually what we get. A lot of palm leaves and stuff. So, just checking out my stuff, my chimes that I have here that I bought from Timu. Um, they're back here. This is my mom's dog. Um, that's a story on its own. I'm not gonna spread that one 
uh, um, yeah, the dog ended up here. <laughs> so, at my house. He was already dead <laughs> when I found out. So, I just brought him here with us. Um, the other one is at a friend's house. They were, they were partners this too. Um, this right here is where Shea Bear's, um, fort he was making right here. All this is, this is all a vine. So now that it's dying, maybe we can just pull this off and get it off. We might be able to, because I'd like to get rid of it. So make it clear. Ooh, this water's, oh, uh, the ground is so saturated. It is really soft. Yeah. You can't even see where his um, fort was. Yeah. But it is back here somewhere. Yeah. So, huh. And over there is that guy's house. Um, nobody's done anything over there that I know of. Um, I rode by it on my bike when I was riding my bike around. I didn't show it to you guys because my camera was forward and I was riding the bike. I couldn't turn it fast enough. So, um yeah this all needs to go this is a fence i had a bigger dog before i met shea, shea bear and this was a doggy fence that kind of went around it and it just kind of it needs to go i don't know what to do with it it's all a mess so burn pile burn barrel it needs to go yeah we could probably because it's full i need to it fell over, so I need to roll it or do something with it and push it in there. I can't use my arms very much anymore. It's very hard because I have frozen shoulders, and um, I've had them since the car accident. They are getting better. My right arm is totally better than the left arm. It still needs work, so that's why I go to therapy three times a week. So, yeah. So, anyways. I'll show you the front so you guys can see that. I think we wanted to um, uh, take a drive, but Shaver's sleeping right now. So maybe when he gets up, we'll, we'll take a drive and see what's going on. See how much damage there is and show you guys. So stay tuned. This is the front. Yeah, it did okay. We're fine. Car did fine. Didn't break the windshield. That's why I was afraid of debris getting to the windshield or something you know but it didn't it's fine just some debris on there from the roof I got some stuff down here but nothing nothing major you know we're still here I was a little worried I think Shea Bear said he was nervous on this one uh, so um, but me and him have been through, what, three? Three or four um, hurricanes together now? Yeah, this is my mom's little butterflies. They were hitting the window, and I probably should have took them down. But they did fine. They didn't break. So that's cool. I put them in the window so she can um, see the birds, and then I have her... And this, this does um, light up at night. So I got it from Timu. I buy things like that for her so she can look out the window. And most of the time you see lots of birds in here and stuff. I want to clean this all out and mow it down. And so it's an access to, to the yard. So we can use this side more. Um, that's my idea. Yeah, we, we had to, because of the tarp, we had to tie the tarp down here on a tree. <laughs> so we couldn't use this, but I can, I can use it now. So we're going to, we got a lot of yard work to do. We really do. But I'm probably not going to do it today. Probably wait until Saturday to do it. I have people coming tomorrow to see my mother and I have therapy tomorrow. So that kind of screws up tomorrow. Um, yeah, so, and of course, we showed you this last night, you know, just, just palms, and, you know, we were lucky because 
they came out here and cleaned this out. So, yeah. So we um, we were lucky that that the power company came out here and just cleaned up mostly. So, um, yeah, we're fine. Nothing that can't be fixed. That's and this thing held up. It didn't even move. It really did well. I was kind of scared that it was going to move. Yeah, but it didn't. So, yeah, there's the neighbors over there. They have family there. Her daughter's there. I don't know where her daughter lives. I don't think it's close, though. I don't see her too often. So I think they had, they came to stay with them. So, and uh, they're good people. They helped me go see my mother when the car broke down. Um, and my mom was in ICU. They're, they're really good people. I appreciate them. And <laughs> so when he gets up, we might take a ride and um, see what else is around. So we'll be back. There's the sun, guys. Thank you, thank you to the sun. It's supposed to be a nice day today, so yeah. I like to, if we can, go up to Crystal River and see what happened up there. I don't. I haven't heard any flooding up there, but they. I'm sure they did something. So there could be roads blocked off up there. I don't know, but we can try. Okay, guys, we're in Crystal River. Here's Shea Bear. He says, "Well, there's nothing really here, but I like to look around." Um, this is Crystal River, and. Uh, most of the time it's all flooded and we can't even get this far after a storm. So um, it's pretty eerie. There's only one car that came down here with us, so that's it. Um, hanging out. But there's nobody down here, really. Um, looks pretty good, really. I'm surprised that it did so well because the last one they got flooded so badly so um yeah you wouldn't know that there was a, even a storm here really so but we'll go up here and look and shaver's just over there somewhere there's a squirrel above my head yeah so looks like the tree might have broke here it fell but nothing really tragic on the way here, so that was pretty good. Um, yeah. Come on, Bruno, stop. Ugh. Anyways, he's all excited. There he is. Nice to get him out. This is where we fish a lot of the times. So this survived pretty good. Ah. Always go, you can see the water. See the houses over there. They look all pretty good, what I can see. Usually this is full of boats. Full of boats. Um, but yeah, we like to go here and fish. Yeah. You see the manatees in here sometimes too. I was trying to see if we saw any manatees. Yeah. So, anyways, we'll walk up here and then we're going to go down to the beach um, and see how bad the beach is. So, yeah. Sorry for the wind. It's so pretty out here. I love coming here. Yeah. So, you can see there was the, be the beaches have come up a little bit. You can see all the sand over there. That used to be uh, just grass. That's it. So we'll we'll go down to the beach and see what's going on down there. But I'm surprised they even let us in here. So very nice. We'll go over into the uh, walk over on the other side and see what we can see. That's where the boat launches over there for a few minutes. And it is gorgeous out. You wouldn't know that we just went through a horrible hurricane. You really wouldn't. Um, 
No, this is a nice fall, um, fall day in Florida. So it's quite nice. It's got a cool air to it, but um, still warm. So that's nice. So yeah. So we're walking over on this side. I just wanted to show you guys down here. I like I like coming here anyways. <laughs> Gives me a reason to come down and see the water. I'm a water person big time. Um, so. Now it looks like their roof over there on that place is leaking. They've got some kind of tarp up there. Probably from the last hurricane. I think they have more damage on the last hurricane than they do with this one. So, um, yeah. So we'll go walk over here for a minute and uh, see what we can see over here. Uh, but really, it looks pretty good. Calm, very calm. It's gone back to normal. The docks are okay over here. And uh, yeah, I like coming over here. We always say we're going to bring our boat over this way. Um, yeah, I like sitting here watching the boats go in and out. This kind of eroded, so you can tell the water is up here. It was up here, so there we go. Down there's a little bridge. It's cute. I've showed it before. We'll go over here real quick, and we'll check it out. Come on. Bruno wants to explore. Yeah, he's trying to explore. Uh, he's got all these smells. And you can see see the debris here. Yeah. So don't go over there. Bruno's tugging on me. Sorry. He's just excited, I guess. The bird's sitting there. Sitting over there. There's debris here. Come on. We'll go down here real quick and then we'll go down to the beach. See what's going on down there. The last time we were here, um, right after a hurricane, and this was all mud. The whole thing. This time it did better. It did fine. That's a good thing. Yep. We got all these houses over here. Anyways, that's that. It is very windy over here. It's windy at the house too, but not as bad as here. But that's to be expected. By the weekend, they say it's supposed to be so nice. You won't even know it. So, yeah. 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 I think some of these people evacuated. Well, this is an evacuation zone, so they probably were like, nope, we ain't staying here. So, I don't blame them. So a lot of them haven't even come home yet, wherever they went. Ah. Ah. It's pretty, pretty out here. I want to get my boat in here. And so we can go boating and up and down in here. We can fish off the boat because you can get some good fish in here. Uh, oh. Alright guys, I'm going to turn you off and we're going to go down to the beach. We'll be back in a minute. Okay guys, we tried to go down to the beach and the beach was closed. You couldn't, it was barricaded off so we couldn't get down there. But on our way back out, we found this. It looks like the roof might have been um, torn off. Um, maybe from the last hurricane. I don't see any uh, wood laying around. So I'd say maybe it was from the last one. Uh, not Milton. 
the one before the lane. So, yeah, Shaver's over there filming it. I didn't want to get out because I got Bruno in the car. So, yeah, it looks pretty shabby. I don't know what they're doing. So, yeah, it looks like it was torn off. A massage therapy in there or something. Yeah. Pretty cool. So there you go, there's something. Um but I don't believe it was from this one. No, there's not enough wood laying around. It looks like it got cleaned up. So yeah. So we're gonna go down to another road. Um this road is where we went fishing and we spent the night at the end if we can get in there we'll try we'll see how far we can get in okay so we'll be back okay guys so we are where we had fished and we we camped here um sorry for the wind i can't help it um yeah, so getting in here, there was some debris coming in here. You could tell as you got further down the road that it got worse and worse. So, um, but really, you know, I think they did pretty good for this hurricane as big as it was and, you know, as fast as it was coming in. So I, I, I think a lot of the damage that we're seeing might have been from Helene and some of it from you know here but really it's not that bad you're not seeing the houses down the all the houses are still standing there up here and this is the danger zone this is it's okay so these people were told to evacuate and they probably did and they're coming in back home today so yeah but there's a big tree over there it looks like it busted over there if you guys can see it i can't zoom in so well maybe i can a little bit she bear taught me how and you guys can see it um i think i am in no there we go so there's a, a tree way over there yeah so you can kind of see that but but no i think they did pretty good don't you think babe yeah yeah some of it on his channel but um i'm driving so i can't but um yeah yeah so this is where we like to fish and hang out i like it here but um yeah so i think that's it guys if we see anything on the way home you know we'll um film it seagull. You see that seagull? Yeah. There it goes. Pretty bird. But, um, yeah. It is cooler. A lot cooler. It's quite a change, isn't it? Because we're so used to that heat. Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah it's much I like to bring my boat down here and put it in and go fishing through here. until we we see something else okay guys okay guys so we're home um we didn't see any more stuff shaver got some stuff while i was driving so i'm gonna steal his clips so you guys can see what i what we saw he's not happy but you love me 
<laughs> Shea Bear <laughs> has now been retired to Monkey's Cameraman. Yes, I personal. I am personal. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're gonna go in and uh, chill. We we ate. We got something to eat on the way home. So, yep. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. So take care. Okay, bye. Shea bye, bear. guys. Bye, y'all. Take care. Too high.
Check them out. Right now, we want to check out the uh, Airbnb we stayed in. And there it is. Right there. there it is. Just want to see how. This is where we stayed at in the Airbnb. So hopefully she can get a two bed. Alright. We'll cut through here. We'll go check those train cars out. This is all from two weeks ago. Yeah, look at that. Mm. It's a shame. Mm -hmm. People work so hard, you know? Yeah. And it's just all taken away. But I mean, you know, if you live right on the coast because of water's, you know, what, a half a mile away. I mean, you, you know, you've got chances you're going to have to take. Okay. Okay, guys. We're going to go this way. Well, look at these train cars. Yeah, I didn't even know they were here. I didn't either. We've never been back in this area, except the one time right back there, the thing, where we stayed at. Yeah. Oh, 
working in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh. Memorial train cars. Another one right there. Uh. Cool, right? That was neat. Foundation's still good, it's a block home, so. Mm -hmm. There's a moose in Florida. Did you see the moose? No. Right there by that tree. Oh, I see it. I have hmm. to really look. You wouldn't be much of a hunter, would you? Still without power. Yeah. Here are generators. Mm. They got power, there's light on there. This stuff gets wet. It's no good no more. I'm Jaguar. Yeah. I'm I'm sad and I don't even know these people. Yeah. I, I'm grateful for us, but I know, I'm been sad empty for, for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm I'm the same way. I'm grateful too that mm -hmm. we have what we got and we're where we are, you know, mm -hmm. in a in a safe place. I mean the only thing we gotta worry about is some trees. Yeah. You know, so because 
you know, we had some high winds, but it didn't really bother us too much because no. we're on a hillside. No. Mm -hmm. And it just, the wind just kind of goes over the top of us. But at the same time, when it does, you know, it's putting pressure on them trees. Mm -hmm. But we pretty much got the weakest ones down. There's still a couple of things that need to be cut. But, um, yeah, we're very fortunate. And we want to get a place on the water, but, you know, this is the stuff you know Just going kind of, into it that, you know, you have to deal with. that you might have to deal with. Are you willing to deal with that? And, like, the insurance, you just, you can't just buy flood insurance. You got to buy flood insurance and storm surge insurance. Because if it's a storm surge that floods you, they won't cover you you don't have the storm surge insurance. And a lot of people don't know that. Like I said, you know, you gotta have fire insurance, homeowners insurance, flood insurance, storm surge insurance, and hurricane insurance. Right or left? I don't know. I don't know. Go right. with their hands up. 